Ladies and gentlemen, American Jerry and Bulldog Nation, welcome to Eric Dieter's Local News. Well, you can't make this up. A man in Ohio actually used a cattle prod. Robert Boris pictured here three counts of domestic violence and three counts of endangering children. He used a cattle prod on his seventh and eight-year-old children. By the way, folks, I'm familiar with this because we had a couple of these when I was growing up working on the old farm. You know what a cattle prod is? It's an electric shocker. <laughs> it's a taser for cows. And he's doing it on his seven, eight-year-old kid. You know what I say? Let's cattle prod him for a few hours. All right. Covington shooting. Covington police say that uh, they fatally shot a suspect early Thursday when he came at officers with a knife. Um, the suspect is Charles Neese, 34, of Ellesmere. I hate to say this, but it always bothers me like this. Maybe maybe because they just do it in the movies. They can't do it in real life. Somebody's coming at you, and I can't they just shoot his leg? I don't know. It was hallucination. <laughs> That's what she's claiming. It's been three years since Marsha Lynn Miller struck and killed a man turning her vehicle in a parking lot. Prosecutors say she intentionally revved her engine and sped up to kill old Frank. We'll see what happens. All right. Law and medical school under the state budget. Chase Law School and the new UK medical school branch might be built at the old IRS place down in Covington. Paycor. Stadium, Cincinnati Bengals, they've started the destruction of things that they want to change. Kitten Golf renewed their contract with the company that's been operating the opening golf course for years. Uh, the name is Troon Golf. Villa Hills is thinking about hiking their property taxes 4%. Nothing to get a city stirred up than a property tax increase. In Kentucky news, a Kentucky mine is closing uh, in Muhlenberg County. It's called Pride Mine. Uh, and it is affecting a lot of people. Uh, at its peak, it produced 4.2 million uh, tons of coal. 200 employees are going to be laid off April 29th. The Kentucky Supreme Court is letting the Medicaid contracts stay because it was a 4-4 to -four decision and no tiebreaker. The Kentucky legislature is passing a Kentucky Safer Act to fight crime. We'll see if it makes it safer. A dad got in trouble for complaining too much to the school about his kids' homework. The Kentucky Supreme Court has removed the circuit court clerk in Pulaski County for doing a lot of bad things. And today at one o'clock is a hearing in Lewis County on my lawsuit against Thomas Massey challenging his petition. In Ohio news, Judge Winkler, Ralph Winkler, the probate judge, is facing a tribunal on Ohio Disciplinary Council based upon his comments on Facebook on an open case. I stand with Judge Winkler. He does a good job. And this is funnier than hell. Mike DeWine is issuing an order about the total eclipse that's apparently coming in Ohio to make sure Ohioans are ready for it. By the way, on this total eclipse, it's pretty cool. Cortez used the eclipse to scare the hell out of the Az Aztecs, thought that he is the one that made the sun go behind the moon. Poor Aztecs. Poor Ohioans. You got Deweeney. This is the Bulldog. Do not be a traitorous, feeble hedge pig. Be an oracle.